In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, S.E.T.J.M. On the Daily Readings from the Holy Mass. Friday of the third week of Easter, Memorial of St. Louis Marie Grignon de Montfort, Priest. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, our first reading comes from Acts chapter 9, what we often refer to as the conversion of St. Paul. What happened on the road to Damascus exactly? Saul, according to his Jewish name, had received authority from the high priest and Sanhedrin in Jerusalem to go to Damascus to imprison Jews who claimed that Jesus was the Messiah. While he had a group of Christians in chains, Jesus, risen from the dead, appears to Paul and says, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul asks, Who are you, Lord? Jesus responds, I am Jesus the Nazarene whom you are persecuting. Jesus orders Saul to go to Damascus to be baptized. But Paul was blinded by the light of Christ and had to be guided to Damascus like a defenseless child by the same Christians that he had persecuted. In that very moment, Paul learned two things, that the church is the body of Christ, and that the essence of the gospel is love, unconditional, total, redemptive, reparative love. The Christians forgave Paul and helped him. They prayed for their enemy and blessed the one who persecuted them and even took care of him as the least of their brothers. My brothers and sisters, the life of St. Paul reveals the power of God's mercy and the testimony of the first Christians reveals the power of God's love. Who are we? The body of Christ. What is our mission? Love. And this is what St. Paul would discover and proclaim to the nations as he'll write in Romans chapter 8. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us listen to these words of Mother Della. Let us be on our way with intrepidity and generosity like St. Paul so that the ardor of our heart and greatest enthusiasm may be to proclaim the gospel to all the nations. May we say like him, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary. Hallelujah.